Hi folks, welcome to Cardinal Bistro. I'm Chef Karen Thomas. Um, today I thought uh, we'd do something a little different, seeing that the kitchen's shut down, but we're still here in the summertime. Um, I thought of an idea about giving you some quick tips on how to beat the heat, still have a fabulous meal. Um, so I'm gonna end today with a nice little summer salad, but I thought I'd start with just a few tips. Um, number one tip I think is best when you're cooking in this heat is probably to do things early in the morning. Now I still uh, run a catering business uh, throughout the whole summer, so early morning hours are the best time to be in the kitchen. The humidity is low, you can turn a fan on, cold towel around the neck is really good and it really enables you to do all your boiling of pasta, potatoes. I tend to not want to turn the oven on as much as I can in the summer, but when I do, obviously when I'm catering, I have to turn that oven on. So early, early, early is the best. I'm a four o'clock in the morning girl. I probably wouldn't suggest that to you, but anything before 10 o'clock is a really good time to get things done. So um, if you're having a dinner party and it's gonna be late, six o'clock in the afternoon, you may wanna plan, plan your menu with stuff you can really prepare ahead of time. Um, pastas you can do ahead of time, any cold dishes you can do ahead of time, and seeing that it is the summer, you might wanna keep your menu a little light, seeing that people do tend to eat light in the summer. Um, another tip, um, it's a great time to use all of those gadgets and appliances that you get for Christmas and wedding gifts and you have no idea what to do with them. They're all electric. Um, great time to pull those out and use them. A lot of people nowadays, it's really convenient, you have outdoor kitchens. Most people have electrical sources out in their outdoor areas, so great to plug those things in, your slow cookers, you can still roast meats, um, your skillets, you can still saute a lot, vegetables and onions and peppers, make your meats fabulous still, and you're avoiding all that heat. You're in the outdoors, and all of that is pretty much going out in the air. So look up all in your appliances. Instead of having them stuffed in the cabinets and in the closets, bring them out, use them. This is the time to really use that stuff. It avoids turning the oven on, which creates a tremendous amount of heat. Um, another good tip is keep the lights off. You want to keep them dim or even completely off. Your shades or curtains, draw them. Keep the shades drawn in the kitchen areas. It really, really helps out a lot. Um, if you can get a tint on your window or a blind that comes down that's shaded, but you could still see outside, those are a really great way to keep the heat out. Um, if you're gonna be in the kitchen and you have no choice but to be in it, that's a great way. I know I have that in my kitchen, so it's another really great tip. Um, another one, of course, is to cook outdoors. I am a grill lover. And whether you have a charcoal grill, a gas grill, a cheaper grill, you can make fabulous meals on the grill. They have wonderful cookbooks on all grilling pick one up because you can make from appetizers to full meals to desserts on the grill. And I believe the last show we showed you how to do, you know, four different types of foods on the grill. Fabulous way to have a great meal. If you're entertaining, grill while your company's there. It's not just about hot dogs and hamburgers. My suggestion, cast iron skillets and the aluminum disposable pans. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And a great way to have great meals right on the grill. And finally, tip number five, um, start looking for recipes that are cold. Now, I get people all the time that tell me, I don't want to eat in the summer. I can't eat in the summer. All I want to eat is ice cream. Well, I mean, in fairyland, that'd be great if we could just eat ice cream all summer long, but we want to stay healthy. We still want to do the right thing, and we still have to eat, and it's not good to not eat. So. A nice way to really watch your calories, cut down, but still have fabulous meals are wonderful salads, which I'm gonna show you today. This literally took me 15 minutes to do from start to finish. And not because I'm a pro or anything like that, it's very minimal. This takes no time at all. 
Um, I started with cooking up a pound of shaved steak. You can use any kind of shaved steak you like. This was a packaged shaved steak. I picked up a pound of it. I sauteed it in um, butter, a little bit of garlic, some salt and pepper, and I love to use the juice of a jar of hot peppers. So about a quarter of that really gives it a little zing. My family loves a little bit of spice. It doesn't overdo it because it dissipates a little while you're cooking. Um, and it is a nice topping on a salad because people think you could just throw chicken on a salad. Well, you could throw anything on a salad. Salmon, you, you can put anything on a salad. We eat salad in the summer tons because the darker the green, the better it is for you and you're eating light at the same time. It doesn't feel like you're bloated with a big meal. So what I did was I picked up some nice local fresh um, field greens washed them really good. These are very, very good for you. I'm not an iceberg fan. You really get more benefit out of a darker green. Mix some kale in there because that's very good for us as well. Um, I did a, chopped up a little bit of a cubanella pepper and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on. I like to cut everything small when I do this salad because um, you know, when I'm entertaining or anything, people are walking around, they don't really have a knife and a fork, and it's hard to cut, so this is cut for them. So they can just get a plate of salad, walk around, socialize, and everything's done for them. And I put a little onion. You can use any onion you want, red, Spanish, whatever you got laying around the house, really. Um, this time of year is great because you have all your local produce, the farms are open, the stands are open. Go, take advantage of that. Eat as much of that as you can because you know it's a short-lived time. We only got a couple of months and then all that great, yummy, fresh local stuff is gone. So throw some cucumber on there. Anything really that you like. I'm sticking with just something basic um, for this salad. This is what my family loves. We're gonna eat this for dinner tonight because it is very steamy out today. As you know, this is in honor of this nice heat wave we've been having. And I just got some grape tomatoes and I quartered them so they're nice and easy for the kids to eat. And um, you just, you know, make an arrangement with that. And then I picked up some local fresh string beans. Love, love fresh string beans. Gives the salad a nice extra crunch. Looks fabulous on the salad and it's very healthy for you. And the shaved steak. I put a little bit of onion and pepper in while I was cooking for extra flavor. And what you do is as much as you want or as little as you want. You don't need much of this on a salad. A little goes a long way. You kind of want a little bit of a bite every time you have some veg. So you get nice and full and it's really, really healthy for you. You've got your protein, you've got your greens, vegetables. It's a meal in one. I would toast up some pita on the side and this would be our meal for the night. A little vinaigrette on the side, we can just dress. A little goes a long way of this. And you have a very fabulous, healthy meal. And I'm gonna feed the four of us on this and probably have a little leftover. Now your leftover steak, this was a pound. We have leftover here, so I would just put it in a container and save it for maybe some steak subs the next day. Um, so really, a nice alternative to a hot meal. If you don't want to be in the kitchen doing up a hot meal, this is a great alternative. One other tip um, I would like to give today is for your fruits. Um, this time of year is uh, tough. I always recommend to keep your fruits out, your melons, your strawberries, your tomatoes, um, apples, any of your citrus. I don't like those in the refrigerator. They tend to pull the flavors out of them. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but that's usually what happens. Your berries and stuff like that, you want to always keep refrigerated because they need to. Um, but the other fruits you want to keep out. So this time of year, you want to buy smaller portions of things if you do keep them out and use them um, frequently. So if you're buying a melon, get a small melon. Only keep it out for a day or two and then cut it and chill it and eat it. So that's just a little recommendation that I have during the summer on your fruit. And that's it. Um, little salt and pepper on this salad and you're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed my tips today and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Thank you.